Good evening. Southern Illinois' fourth Veterans Honor Flight took place today after a 15 hour trip to and from Washington, D.C. Tonight, thousands of supporters showed up to greet those veterans when they arrived back home in Marion. Now those 70 veterans spent the day in D.C. touring war memorials, monuments, and the Tomb of the Unknown. They left Marion at 5.30 this morning and returned just after 8 o'clock tonight. Now News 3's Brooke Slyer was there when that plane landed back home. She joins us live tonight from Veterans Airport. Brooke, just how were veterans welcomed back tonight? Carolyn, it was high energy at the airport tonight. The last few shuttles just leaving moments ago, but let me tell you, at 8.30, it was packed inside with supporters wearing their red, white, and blue and waving these American flags. Now, of course, this put a lasting smile on veterans' faces. Area veterans arrived to a hero's welcome in Marion Tuesday night. After a full day in Washington, D.C., at the 4th Veterans Honor Flight of Southern Illinois. One participant included Ernest Felty, a Korean War veteran who served in the Army. This is his first time touring the war memorials in D.C. Today was wonderful. This group has been very well organized. We've had a ball, and they took care of us. Older fellows very, very well. Although Felty has seen the Korean War Memorial in pictures, he says those don't do it justice. I'd seen it before, but it's still touching. I could have been one of them. Thousands of supporters attended the welcome home celebration at Veterans Airport in Marion, enjoying food and music until the veterans arrived. This includes members of SIU's Army ROTC program like Troy Berghofer. He's been volunteering at honor flights for the past four years, starting in St. Louis and now here locally. For us to show that support to them probably means the world to them, and I hope it means the world to me one day too. While Michael Page, also with Saluki ROTC, first showed his support when his grandfather was an honor flight participant. I know he really appreciated seeing all of the memorials down in D.C., something that he hadn't gotten to see before. Many supporters included veterans like Mark Cosgrove, who served in the Marines. He played a special role as flag detail, representing three veterans who were supposed to take part in the honor flight but passed away beforehand. We will bring them off the aircraft and we will present them to the family members. He says this support lets veterans know their sacrifices are appreciated. Some veterans uh, came back from either combat situation or just wartime service and they didn't receive any kind of recognition. Organizers say they're already finalizing plans for the next honor flight, which is expected to take place in April or May. Reporting live in Marion, Brooks Slyer, News 3.